We cannot begin to compare treatments without standardized and validated outcome measures. The ideal tool is developed with patient input, demonstrates the impact on patients' lives, is accepted by patients and surgeons, is usable in daily practice, and actually is internationally used so that we can all be globalized and compare treatments. It was Dion Morton that suggested that I set up a committee looking at the existing um, outcome measures. This was a few years ago. Um, and it, it was proved to be an interesting but not terribly productive exercise. So it was not a simple task. Um, we had to look at diaries. We had to look at historical scoring tools. We had to look at the new tools that had been developed using patient input. We had to look at disease-specific quality of life tools and generic quality of life tools. Diaries, I have to say, are pretty useless. Um, and they've been shown, not in fetal incontinence, but in fact in diabetes, not to correlate in any way with electronic monitoring. It may be that phone diaries will be the answer in the future, they certainly have been shown to be a lot more accurate. And patients can't tuck a little bit of their own input into the diary if it's on a phone. 